Isekai. The Rebirth of the Malicious Empress of Military Lineage, Chapter 77, Reciprocate. The originally noisily hall momentarily quietened down, and everyone's eyes fell onto the purple figure behind Lu Zhu Yan. The young female's cloak was already removed, and she was wearing a purple silk flower pattern dress with complicated windings, bringing out her slim figure. She slightly lifted her chin, and her eyes were looking forward as if all the noble furans present were not worthy to be in her eyes. Her complexion was so fair that it looked somewhat translucent, but, made her eyes, and brows look delicate, and pretty. However, that pair of bright eyes was the most attractive part. Her eyes were round, and clear as if they were as pure as a newly born animal, but, were so calm like they had seen a decade of moons. This kind of transformation, and tenderness intertwined was making her a contradictory beauty. She followed Lu Zhu Yan's steps, and walked to the middle of the hall. Unlike Lu Zhu Yan's clean, and neat gestures, that young female's hands were folded in front of her, but, they were not stiff looking, as if that action was done thousands of times, and was fully ingrained into her. Her long dress followed her steps as it lightly fluttered, as if blooming flower petals, and those flowers were not showing off even though it was full of bloom, just like her entire person. Her actions were extremely natural, and every step that she took was extremely pleasing, and at the same time had a touch of the majesty on them. The women present were all from noble families, and naturally had experienced the harsh training of a Momo on etiquettes. They had felt that they can already do it very well, but, were astonished when they saw this young female. This was because if it was them, they would not be able to walk that prettily. Sometimes form could be imitated, but, the spirit cannot be imitated. There were no waves of expression in that purple-clad young female, and she had a calm attitude, as if this road was like her own backyard. There was no panic, timidity, or impulsiveness. Just plainly walking made one feel that she was looking over all living beings in the world. It was as if, she was the owner of this palace. Those women could not help, but be shocked at such a flash of that idea, because this young female was not other than, the idiotic Shen Miao. Previously at the academy examinations, Shen Miao's transformation was for all to see, but, since then, Shen Miao, and Shen Qing both became sick and stayed in the residence that they even did not go to Guangwentang anymore. Even though she had defeated Kailin in the academy examinations, that only showed her aggressiveness, and boldness. Etiquette, and spirit could not be learned overnight. Shin Miao had suffered from so many years of foolishness during the yearly returning banquet, and it was not an easy thing to turn things around. Who knew that with one look today, one felt that Shen Miao was a different person than before. Not only there was not even a single mistake in her gestures, everyone present had a faint feeling that Shen Miao was incomparable to all the officials' daughters in this hall. Shen Miao followed behind Lu Zhu Yan, and faced everyone's eyes, but, no one saw the corner of her lips stiffen. It had been more than a decade. She had finally returned here again. In her previous life, it was struggling, and fighting in close quarters in this prison where one's fate had to be fought for. She wanted to see if in this lifetime, could this place still trap her. Every single brick, and tile in this place were deeply engraved in her heart that even if she were to close her eyes, she would still know her way. All those tedious palace ceremonies were done day after day that they were almost engraved to her bones. In this hall when she closed her eyes, she could almost see Wan Yun asking her to eat snacks, and Fu Ming shaking his head as he memorizes the country's policies. Love and hate were both heavy, bitter, and sweetness were mixed. To once again enter here, she had mixed feelings. Her heart was burning up, 
But, it was from the flames of revenge. Zhao Lizi looked blankly at the purple-clad young female behind that valiant woman, and his heart was in shock. Just now in the gardens, the palace maid said that Shin Xin's D daughter was vulgar, and an idiot, who knew that when he saw her, it was not as they said. There was an air of grandeur, and nobility air around that young female, as if looking at her one more time, one would not be able to bear that kind of majesty. How could that be an idiot? Just as he was thinking, he saw that young female's slightly concentrated eyes a landing on him. In a short moment, Zhao Lizi tensed up as he had never seen the young lady from Shen's family before. Was this the fate that the seniors of the palace talked about? Was it that the Shen young lady valued him? Just as his heart was filled with fear and excitement, he saw Shen Miao turning away, as it was just an accident. Zhao Lizi felt somewhat lost in his heart. He did not know why, but, he felt that if he clinged to this Shen young lady, his great fortune would be waiting for him. And now it seems that he has lost the chance of linking up to this great fortune. Before one could wait for Zhao Lizi to clear this inexplicable thought of his, a tall Furin in the front hall was already laughing. Shen Furin, you made one wait. Lu Zhu Yin slightly frowned before showing a blooming smile. There were some delays on the road. Fifth young lady is truly becoming full of life as each day passes. That tall Furin's eyes landed on Shen Miao, and spoke in a half real, and falsely way. She is indeed going to be engaged. Thinking of the beginning, she was still a little thing. Hearing this, Lu Zhu Yan's blooming smile immediately sank. Lu Zhu Yan already found that Shen Miao's engagement was an unfathomable mystery. It was the Shen residents that agreed to it behind her, and Shen Xin's backs. She would not admit to it one little bit, and was even not afraid to offend the Wei family. With regards to family background, the Wei family was not bad, but, they were not comparable to Shen Xin. At worst, just offend the Wei family, since nothing was more important than Shen Miao's happiness. Moreover, Wei Furin was not present at the moment. Determined to clarify these issues for Shen Miao, Lu Zhu Yin said, What kind of words are those? Our Zhao Zhao only just grew up and need not need to marry so early. I want to keep Zhao Zhao by my side for a longer period. When those words were spoken, the Furans, and young ladies present were stunned since Shen Miao's engagement was spread all over for the past few days. Afterward in the birthday banquet of old Shen Furan, the rest of the Shen family almost admitted to it, why when it came to Lu Zhu Yan, the engagement seems to fall short. The tall Furan squinted her eyes, seeming to feel that something was not right as her smile became more profound. She said, Oh, so Shen Furan wants to keep fifth Shen young lady for more days? But, some days ago, was not say that fifth Shen young lady is engaged already? Furan know how to joke. Lu Zhu Yan was not afraid of any loss of prestige, and was even not afraid of exposing the Shen family's internal contradictions to everyone. With such relatives like the other Shen family, there was no need to keep pretenses. Her brows frowned, and she loudly said, What reasoning is it that when one's daughter is engaged, the parents are not even aware of it? The master and I were completely not aware of what Furin had said, so how could one speak of an engagement? Once Lu Zhu Yan finished her words, whispering suddenly burst forth from her surroundings. That tall Furin also did not think that Lu Zhu Yan would say that, and was stunned for a moment. It was true that there was no such thing, as one's real parents not knowing of the matter of their daughter being engaged. There would only be one reasoning, if Lu Zhu Yan, and Shen Xin did not know about Shen Miao's engagement, which is that the Shen family was concealing it from them. As to why did the Shen family wanted to do that, 
there would be lots of hidden meanings to it. Just as everyone was thinking by themselves, Ren Wanyan, Chen Rikayu, and the rest also arrived. Naturally Shen Gui, and Shen Wan headed to the main hall where the males were at. Ren Wan Yun brought Shen King, and Chen Rikayu, and Shen Yu slowly walked over. This was Shen King's first time out, since she was confined to bed due to illness. These few days she had become Wan, and Sallow. She was at the best age of a young female, but, she had slight signs of aging. To cover up the haggardness, she put on thick rouge, and powder, and wore a red dress. Shen King was not suitable to wear such a bright color so when one takes a glance, as compared to the past, it was somewhat strange. Also that she still had a child in her abdomen, thus her pace looked a little staggering even it was covered up. As for Shen Yu, as always she wore a beige-colored light long dress that was slowly twirling, and light makeup, making her look like a weak, and delicate beauty with a scholarly flavor. If it was in the past, she would have attracted everyone's attention, but, unfortunately, it was not the case today. With Shen Miao's outstanding performance, Shen Yu's steps seemed to have a jerky feel to them, her gestures were somewhat stiff, her expression was somewhat nervous, and the hands that were crossed seemed to be too forceful. All in all, she was not even the slightest in comparison to Shen Miao. Thinking about this, everyone's expression became strange. Since when did the most outstanding Shen Yu from the Shen family was left far behind by Shen Miao? Shen Yu was young, and was not aware of it, but, Chen Rikayu was able to detect that the Furin's eyes were different than before. If it was in the past, the eyes that landed on both mother and daughter would be full of jealousy, envy, or praise. But, today they seemed to be much more critical than before. Chen Rikayu frowned. This aspect of etiquette had always been her proudest area, and she was especially demanding of Shen Yu. She believed that there was no noble female in the Ding capital that was more outstanding than her daughter, but, from the expressions of these people, there was someone else that did better? She naturally did not know that the person who was better than Shen Yu was before one's eyes. Shen Miao sat next to Lu Zhu Yan at the side. Even though Lu Zhu Yan was considered the main lead in this returning banquet today, it seemed that she was isolated. It was indeed like so. In the noble houses in Ding capital, there was always their circle. It was still alright for males, as their contribution would speak for themselves, and their careers will mutually intertwine, so even if they disliked one another, they still had to maintain a neutral position on the surface. However, females are different. The noble females in Ding capital were mostly proud, and arrogant. Just like the Di females were not willing to play with the Su females, and those that grew up in the Ding capital would look down on foreign households. Lu Zhu Yan was that foreign household. If she came from those rich families from Zhongnan then it would be alright, but, Lu Zhu Yan came from the bitterly cold land of the northwest region. When she was just married into the Ding capital, Lu Zhu Yan could not speak the bureaucratic language, and her accent was ridiculed by these furins secretly for a long time. They mocked that the wind and sand in the northwest region were so big that a female's delicate skin would become rough, and the robberies were so rampant that one would be afraid of being robbed when walking on the road. As for the type of materials available, it must be all of the poor quality and it would be rare to see silk in the entire year. These kinds of words were extremely exaggerated, but, they were truly targeted at Lu Zhu Yan. Moreover, Lu Zhu Yan was the only one in the capital that was a general, and headed to the battlefield. For things that one was unable to accomplish, if it was a matter that was extremely rare, everyone would tend to oppose. This was not only for females, but, 
males were also the same, thus Lu Zhu Yan was excluded by the noble female circles. Also, previously Shen Miao was an out, and out idiot, this mother, and daughter were the targets of these Furin's secret ridicules. Bei Wei's mother, Bei Furin, called Chen Rikayu over to sit by her side. She, and Chen Rikayu were close friends that grew up together. Naturally, she would want to sit together with Chen Rikayu. Bei Wei also pulled Shen Yu over to her side. Ren Wan Yun walked over to sit by Yi Furin's side, and Yi Pei Lan looked at Shen King and complained, you have not appeared for a long time, heard that you have fallen ill, you seem to have slimmed down, but, how is it that your face is somewhat swollen? Shen King lowered her head in panic, and vaguely replied, perhaps it was due to laying on the bed for too long. Ren Wan Yun has boiled a lot of medication to smooth the pregnancy for her. Even though Shen King hated the child in her abdomen, she was even more afraid of not being able to be a mother after aborting it, so she only could drink it down with clenched teeth. Since it was to smooth the pregnancy, there would be a variety of tonic herbs so naturally one would get fatter a little. Even though it was not obvious in her figure, she was somewhat swollen. Yi Pei Lan did not doubt her, and only patted Shen King's hand before saying, you better recover your body well. You are already an engaged person, you must not treat yourself badly. Shen King shivered, and did not speak after lowering her head. She knew that Ren Wan Yun had arranged the marriage with the Huang family, and also knew that Huang Dezin was considered a young talent, but, she did not know for what reason her heart was very resistant to this marriage as if under the bright, and beautiful marriage there was an unknown danger. Yi Pei Lan's voice was not soft, and just loud enough for Huang Furin who was sitting at the side to hear it. When Huang Furin heard this, she looked at Shen King critically. As for this marriage, she only wanted to find a Furin in namesake for her son. Shen King could be considered as compatible with her son, but, with her sick look today, she better not be a sickly person since she needs to carry on the Huang family line, and give birth to a son. Other than that, whatever she liked to do, she would not care. On the other end, Bei Furin was quietly whispering to Chen Rikayu, Rikayu, I see that the fifth young lady in your residence is not simple at all. Oh? Chen Rikayu asked curiously, why does one say that? One is afraid that fifth Shen young lady had someone's guidance. Just now when she entered, all the Furans have seen that her posture and etiquette were even better than those in the palace. I will say something that one would not love to hear. I am afraid that Yu Er is very much inferior. Chen Rikayu was startled before asking, what are you talking about? Who does not know that fifth lady does not understand rules and regulations? Bei Wei was Chen Rikayu's close friend, and was also from a scholarly lineage and naturally had higher requirements for etiquettes. Today for her to apprise Shen Miao that highly, it made Chen Rikayu felt unfathomable. At the same time, she felt absurd, but, could not help, but, look towards the direction of where Lu Zhu Yin sat. Lu Zhu Yan was isolated, and sat at the side by herself with Shen Miao by her side. Lu Zhu Yan was after all older and had more experience so even if no one paid her attention there would not even the slightest emotion from her. She only needed to bring out that unmoving face that she uses on the battlefield. But, Shen Miao was a young female, and could also sit with her back straight. The others did not talk to her, and it looked like they were not deliberately neglecting her, but, more like they did not dare to talk to her. Chen Rikayu's fingers were somewhat trembling. The female guests were in their thoughts while in the main fall, Shen Zin's sentence set off an uproar in the main hall. Beloved Shen official's words are serious. Emperor Wen Hu asked. Emperor Wen Hu was close to 60 years of age, but, 
There was no appearance of his maturity. There was a smile on his face, and his pair of eyes were shrewd, and sharp, which helped to see how sharp, and fierce he was during his youth. At this moment he was looking down at Shen Xin, questioning him in a deep voice. Just now in front of all the officials, Emperor Wen Hu recommended Shen Xin with awards, but, Shen Xin requested Emperor Wen Hua to confer grace, to allow him to stay in the capital a long time, six months as he wanted to accompany his wife, and daughter in the residence. For the many years that the formidable great general had been going to the battlefield, he was invincible, and exceptionally brave, but, he had never made such a request before. In a moment, it made everyone ponder deeply. The expressions of the officials changed. Was Shen Xin's request of staying in the capital for half a year at a critical juncture, truly to just accompany his loved ones? Emperor Wen Hua sized Shen Xin up. He had yet to die, and the relations between the princes were already stormy. Now the situation was ever-changing and any intervening forces would change the entire board. Previously the matter of Shen Xin's D daughter's love for Prince Ding was spread out all over, and Emperor Wen Hua was still thinking of the outcome if this fat meat of the Shen family ended up in Prince Ding hands, but, who knew there was no more news after that. Now Shen Xin suddenly made this request. Was it that there was another plan in place? He looked carefully at the man below. Shen Xin's complexion was dark, eyes resolute, and his stature was as straight as a little mountain. The gestures that he made to Emperor Wen Hua were also done respectfully, he was a loyal, and brave man. But, a monarch needs to control the officials, and never look at the surface of things, but, to the value. Regarding Emperor Wen Hua, as long as he saw a threat to the country, even if a meritorious service was done, it must be wiped out cleanly, and neatly. After a moment, Emperor Wen Hua laughed out loud, for so many years, the loved Shen official had been guarding the northwest region, now that the enemy is broken, Zhen is very pleased. With such a great general, it is Ming Qi's fortune. Beloved Shen official's request, Zen will grant it. Shen Xin immediately gave his thanks to the bestowment, thanking your majesty. This kind of action made the rest of the people in the hall cast side long glances at one another. Emperor Wen Hua left the main hall after granting it, and left behind a crowd full of people. Shen Xin's action just now was considered as unexpected and the first who spoke was the Marquis of Linen, Zi Ding. This was a person that has competed with the Shen family for his entire life, and he clearly did not understand Shen Xin's action. He ridiculed, is it that General Shen fought too many battles, and is now scared of fighting, thus wanted to stay for half a year in the Ding capital to enjoy a life? Not only was Shen Xin not annoyed when he heard this, but, he also gave a smile that exposed his white teeth as he said, Is Marquise envious of this general? Oh, that is no wonder. After all Marquise has no wife or daughter. You. Zi Ding's expression became ashen. This Shenzhen was rough, and had no schemes. But, his mouth was the most poisonous, the Princess Yu King's death and Zi Jingxing treating him like a stranger were Zi Ding's lethal spots, and Shen Xin still mercilessly stabbed them with a knife. Zi Ding could not wait to spear Shen Xin to death. Fu Ziyu Yi looked at Shen Xin, and he looked quite excited. The Shen family had again exceeded his expectations. Since before when Shen Miao liked him, even though he felt annoying, he thought that the Shen family can be used. But, afterward, Shen Miao clarified to everyone that she had no such feelings, which made Fu Ziyu Yi be laughed at by Prince Zhao, and Prince Jing. Now, Shen Xin brought up staying in the capital for half a year, which made others unable to make any sense of the matter. Fu Ziyu Yi had a strange feeling, that the overall looking easily to control Shen family, 
had suddenly become an unmoving rock, as in the future, there will be countless variables that could affect the overall situation. Shin Zin's abnormal actions made the officials unable to fathom, but, today's beast omen made one jealous. Everyone went forward to congratulate sincerely or falsely. Shin Zin talked to them about interesting things of the northwestern region, but, did not notice the hidden cold pair of eyes behind him. That pair of eyes were staring fixedly onto Shin Zin, as if it was a poisonous snake that was entrenched in the grass, waiting for an opportunity to strike, and bite one to death. And the end of the robes of the person who was looking at Shen Zin was empty as he was playing with the ornamental thumb ring. It was no other than Prince Yu of the first rank. The atmosphere inside was getting warm, and outside Shen Kaiyu blocked Wei Qian in the corridor. Wei Qian was considered a talented, and unpretentious man, but, compared to Shen Kaiyu's healthy, and brimming vitality, he seems to look too weak. He saw Shen Kaiyu, and asked with a frown, Is there anything the matter for little Deputy General Shen to block this one's way? Shen Kaiyu looked up, and down at Wei Qian to size him out. He was friendly, and easygoing. If he met Wei Qian before, he might have become friends with him. But, after hearing from Shen Miao that Wei Qian had someone he liked, seeing this person only make him felt a wave of anger. To Shen Kaiyu's eyes, his own younger sister has a thousand good qualities, and only had a position to not like others. How could there be the capacity of others disliking her? You are Wei Qian. Thinking about this, Shen Kaiyu's tone of voice was also not happy. Wei Qian was startled and found that the oncoming person was hostile, he replied, It is exactly so. I am here for no big matter. Shen Kaiyu patted Wei Qian's shoulder, and said, Just to tell you that there were previously rumors about my younger sister engaged to your Wei family, they were just rumors, and my Shen family did not put it to heart. So your Wei family should not put it to heart too. Shen Kaiyu took a step back, and said nonchalantly, but, had a chilling tone, the selected husband for my younger sister naturally has to go through my eyes first. Finishing his words, he did not see what expression Wei Qian had on his face, and just turn around to stride away. Wei Qian stood stunned on the spot alone. Shen Kaiyu's words were drawing the line with his Wei family. But, it was correct that he had someone he liked, but, even if Shen Kaiyu were to fight injustice for his younger sister, he need not need to say that he was like a useless fool. The Shen family's protection was just too bold, and ferocious. Moreover, he did not have the opportunity to intervene in this marriage at all. Outside the corridor, Gao Yan watched the dazed Wei Qi on as pleased as punch. He shook his head, and said, The people in the Shen family are just too overbearing. They are that arrogant, and did not put the Wei family in their eyes. Watched enough? The purple-clad youth beside him had impatience on his brows, and his tone of voice was also not very pleasant. Are you done? Wei Jian is your people. Gao Yang said, he is bullied by others like this, and you do not stand up for him. Since you like, you go. Zi Jing Xing shot a glance at him. I would not even dare. Gao Yang said as though he was watching a good show, that Shen girl has so many people protecting her, that if one was not careful, trouble will come knocking. However, his smile was gentle, and warm, but, his tone of voice was rejoicing in others' misfortune. Today Prince Yu is present so one fear that some matters would not be good. I heard that Prince Yu plans to marry a Huang Fai. Guess which young lady from the Shen family he wants to marry? I guess he will not be able to marry. 
Zi Jingxing raised his brows as his sight landed in front. In the garden, a familiar figure jogged up, and said to the young eunuch something before putting a sachet into the young eunuch's hands. That figure was no other than Shen Miao's maid, Jing Zi.